Hi, what's up? Um, uh, welcome to a 26 tutorial on how to create an FPS game. And I know it's been a very, very long break since I made the last tutorial. And I'm really sorry, but um, uh, after I went for vacation, I kind of lost track of everything. And also, I had to make um, the model for the next thing I wanted to teach you, which is animations. Uh, if you have watched my previous tutorial on, uh, well, not so much tutorial, but more of an explanation on uh, 3D objects and meshes and models, then that's great. You'll totally understand. If not, then you may not understand unless you have some background knowledge. So, um, yeah, basically what we're going to be learning today is how to make animations. And uh, what's that is... Uh, Shape smooth. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna explain what animations are because I already did in the previous tutorial. But just so you know, getting models is, uh, you know, fairly easy compared to getting models with animations. And, you know, believe me, I've tried browsing the internet for a ton of character models and just animated models, and you cannot find animated models unless you pay for them. So, just so you know, all animated models on the internet are paid and in high price. So what I did is just, I downloaded a regular model of a soldier, it came like this, and then I animated him, and I gave him four animations, and uh, it was kind of, it's very hard work for me, you know, it's simple to understand how to animate, but then to actually do it, it's kind of hard, so uh, yeah, plus I had to, had to rig him, I had to give him like this skeleton, if you can see under his body, there's a skeleton. So, you know, he would move according to the skeleton, and it was really, really hard to do that. But, at last, I came up with uh, four animations. One is a walk. Well, I mean, five animations, excuse me. One is stand. Second is walk. Third is shoot. Is a stand and shoot. Some fourth is a walk and shoot. So... Oh yeah, that is four, not five. All right, so yeah, I kind of lost my count, but uh, yeah. So he he's got uh five animations. So now I am gonna make more for uh later later tutorials, but for now let's start out with these uh four animations. And uh, I exported the model into this soldier.fbx and packaged it up nice for you. And this comes with a, a texture for the model, normal map for the model, a flash for his gun, and a texture for his gun, and even a gun sound. Right? So now let's just, first of all, open up Unity. Close this. We're not going to be dealing with Autodesk right here. No. Right, so yeah. Now these animations are going to look pretty crappy, because I really suck at animating so uh if you can find your own animated models you have a friend who does that or something or you know somebody or you just paid for models then uh you know use those preferably but you can use mine just as well you know all right so now once you've got the model you need to tell it that it has animations it doesn't automatically detect all the animations so what you do the way you do that is first of all we need these materials these two materials. One is the gun material. If you haven't noticed, if they don't come, this is the gun material. This is the um, uh, model material, right here. All right. So first of all, change the shader of the model material to bump diffuse. Add the normal map. Fix now if you have this option here. All right. So good. And now what we need to do is go into the sol soldier model, and right here. This is where you add the animations. Now what you need to do is tell it what frame this the animation starts and what animation and what frame it ends. Now I just made it I want to make it a single frame, but that is not possible, so just make it one to two. This is idle. This is just standing. And warp mode is default. It's like the play mode, right? The second animation is called walk. And I made that from one to forty, right? And this is a loop warp mode, so it will loop the animation every time it plays it. And then the last one we're going to use is uh, fire. It just puts in a fire stance. Now we're not going to use walk and fire because um, 
I don't know, I just, I couldn't get it to play the animation at the right time. I don't know why, I battled with it for a ton, through with the scripts, you know, and I just couldn't get it to play correctly, animation, so we're just gonna have our character, um, our model, stand whenever it shoots. So, yeah, 41 to 50. And if you, if you wanna battle with it yourself, the animation fi walk fire, you know, walk while firing, um it's uh frame fifty one to sixty seven so if you want to add that you can i'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna have him stand once he's firing and if he wants to move then he he cannot fire while moving that kind of disables our a i but I guess that's an advantage to the player that we should have i don't know so yeah we're gonna change the the a i a bit so it will fit our model right so now once you've done the animations, click apply great. You'll notice you get the materials again. Just delete the old ones. You don't want any duplicates. And take these two. Right, so now once you've got everything organized, you can drop it on your art folder. Or you can also organize it differently. You can drag everything out and put textures in textures. You know, I'll let you do that on your own. But first, we need to go into our prefabs, take our enemy out, and position him here. And position him just like so right so he's just you know standing there hanging around he's got AI health random and gun to him all right now what you want to do is take from art go to soldier great now you got the soldier you obviously need to scale him up I'm just gonna pause the video and do this but once you put him in and scaled him correctly to fit the actual capsule just uncheck mesh render and all that will do is just not display the mesh so you'll see only the model so let me just pause the video and position him myself alright I just positioned him inside here see he's all inside the capsule uncheck mesh render and make sure that the soldier is inside is a child of the enemy and now once you've done that I just quickly go and create new script create javascript called AI anim short for animations right now put this in the AI now we also want to create this with messaging because we have multiple um, movement scripts so let's just make a message make a function for each um, animation so yeah so first of all we don't need these functions all we need is custom functions because the AI anim will only hold functions it will not actually execute anything so function what the fuck? All right, function. Excuse me if I'm not bothering you. <laughs> function uh, reset. I'm gonna call it reset because after every animation, after we got done doing whatever we did, we want to reset it to his idle animation. So what we're gonna do is model dot animation. Then an animation is basically an array. That is how it's held, just so you know. If you look at your soldier model, here is an array. That's how arrays are displayed in Unity of uh, all the animations. I don't remember if I'd gone over arrays with you, but uh, yeah. He's just got an array of an animation. And just reference each one in the name, by the way, uncheck play automatically. Alright, so animation. Its name is idle. Dot. Excuse me, I want to just. Alright, it's not going to help me. So, simply dot play. Now, this model variable is a variable we need to reference. Now, because the animations are not the enemy, they're on the soldier, we need to reference the soldier and call them from the soldier. So, what we're going to do first is attach AI anim and only make one variable here called var model of type transform. Right, this tutorial is going to be kind of long, so just bear with me here. Right, so now after you've done that, there we go. Simply put the soldier here, save your progress, and let's continue. Right, so function reset, we'll reset it to idle animation. And function walk, I want to do walk. 
and then copy paste that fire there we go that's pretty much all we need let me pause the video for one sec alright sorry but I made a mistake it's not how you play animations um, you just need to call into the animations array dot play and then the animation you want so yeah that's how it's just formatted just replace all that all right sorry for that glitch and then play fire all right so uh now if we test it the way we test it we'll just make function function and we only want to do it on start because if we play an animation on the update function then it will just keep playing the first few frames over and over because we'll start every frame so that will be bad let's just test out walk excuse me it's a function right let's see how that plays there you see his walking that's beautiful now we want to tell him to walk when he walks and stop when it stops and we'll do that in the next tutorial so because this one is just kinda of getting kinda of long and I don't wanna overwhelm you so uh... that's all for this tutorial bye bye and see you next time